Hey, what is up everybody? It is AJ here and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how you can export a Microsoft Word document and send it over to your Kindle so you can read it on your Kindle instead of always having to be on your computer. This is a new feature from Microsoft in collaboration with Amazon and I think it is a really cool feature, especially for education. So if you're in university or in higher education degree or if you're a business professional. When I was at university, I spent hours of reading documentation and of course literature and things like that and I'd either print it out or I'd have to look at the screen for hours which if you're like me your eyes are sensitive to the white bright lights but being able to read it on the Kindle means that it's easy for you to actually just read it when you're transporting around you could be on public transport things like that also using the Kindle screen is just easy for your eyes and of course likewise if you're a business professional and you need to do things like read a proposal or anything like that you can export it to your Kindle and you can read it in your own leisure and it just looks a little bit nicer and easier on your eyes than it would do if you're reading on your, your computer screen or even if you had a tablet like an iPad those screens look beautiful but they are also quite harsh for your eyes so this is a really cool feature that I'm excited for but let's jump on the computer and learn how we can export a Word document to our Kindle so right now I'm signed into Microsoft Word. I've got a sample document in front of me and I'm doing this on Microsoft Word for Mac, but this works just as well on Microsoft Word for PC. And all you can do is go up to the file tab and scroll down to where it says share and you have a few options to share. You can send it to a document, a PDF, a HTML, or now you have an option called send to Kindle. I'm simply gonna select on send to Kindle. You're gonna get a pop-up box asking you to sign into your Amazon account. And it's gonna say you're gonna send files to your Amazon account to read on your Kindle app. We're simply gonna select on continue. And then we're gonna sign into our Amazon account. Once we've signed into our Amazon account, it's gonna ask if Microsoft can have access to send documents to your Kindle library. You're simply gonna select on allow. And then it's gonna ask you how you want the file to be read. You can either send it like a Kindle book, and this says it makes the font and the size adjustable, um, and it supports handwritten sticky notes for Kim, uh, Kindle Scribe or you can have it sent as a printed document, which sends it exactly how it is. I'm actually gonna have this sent like a Kindle book to see how that looks like. Um, and then I'm gonna simply select on send. It's gonna say it's sending the file. I'll turn on my Kindle right now. And in a couple of minutes, it's gonna arrive in our Kindle library. And now it's fully downloaded. I'm gonna simply open it up. And you can see here, it actually looks really cool. Uh, it's got our progress, it's using the Kindle format. If I go into the settings at the top, I can change it to a different font, a different theme, a different layout, because this is using, obviously, a Kindle format. Um, and this is a really nice way of going through and reading. This document did have some photos in there. They were co uh, color doc documents, but you can see here, they just appear black and white. It has some tables in there, so the tables do appear. Uh, if I select on a word, Will it let me search for that word? It does, so it allows me to use the dictionary to search for that word, add my notes and do highlighting. Um, this is really quite cool uh, because now I can go ahead and read all my Word documents on my Kindle when I have the time and it looks so much nicer and easier to read on the Kindle screen than it does on the bright reflective screen of the devices that I have. And there you have it. It was actually extremely easy to export a Word document and install it on my Microsoft Kindle for reading. I'm actually really surprised at how simple that process was and can definitely tell you I'll be using this when I have long Word documents to read because they just look so much nicer on the Kindle and the fact that I can export it as a Kindle document means that I can actually use all the great Kindle features to edit, annotate and read that document just like I would on a regular book. Of course, if you guys do like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and if you want to supercharge away as your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.